Hello everyone, it's Megan from KenHub here, and welcome to our tutorial on the olfactory nerve. Before we begin, let me give you a quick overview of the topics we'll discuss in this tutorial. First we'll cover the structure and function of the olfactory nerve, then we'll move on to look at some important relations of this nerve. Once we're competent in these areas, we'll systematically work our way through the gross anatomy of the olfactory pathway, followed by the histology of the olfactory mucosa. We'll also look at the neural pathways involved in the perception of smell. Finally, we'll conclude this tutorial with some clinical notes relating to the olfactory nerve and its pathway. Now let's start with the first item on the list, which is the structure and function of this nerve. So what exactly is the olfactory nerve? The olfactory nerve is the first of 12 cranial nerves. It can also be acronymed to CN1. It's a sensory nerve that transmits sensory information to the brain, allowing us to have a sense of smell. In this illustration, which is a sagittal cross-section of the skull, we can see the olfactory nerve fibres arising in the roof of the nasal cavity. More specifically, these fibres arise in the olfactory mucosa and merge to form up to 20 nerve bundles. These bundles, collectively known as the olfactory nerve, course through the foramina in the cribriform plate of the ethmoid bone to enter the cranial cavity. Now that we're familiar with the olfactory nerve and its function, let's move on to discuss some bony and membranous structures related to this nerve. The cribriform plate, as we mentioned previously, is part of the ethmoid bone, and it separates the nasal cavity from the brain. In the sagittal plane, we can see that it's a horizontal bony lamina, and has a sieve-like structure that transmits the fibres of the olfactory nerve. This structure also supports the olfactory bulb, which we will talk about later on in this tutorial. Anterior to the cribriform plate, we can see this hollow region within the frontal bone, the frontal sinus. This is a paired structure lined by nasal mucosa, and is one of four paranasal sinuses. Trauma to this area may cause damage to the olfactory nerves, resulting in a loss of the sense of smell. Finally, we'll talk about this structure here, the dura mater. The dura mater is the outermost layer of the meninges, which are the membranous coverings of the brain and spinal cord. It's a tough, thick membrane, and we can see it lying between the cribriform plate and the olfactory bulb. Keep in mind that the olfactory nerve will also need to pass through two other meninges of the brain, the arachnoid mater and the pia mater, before it reaches the olfactory bulb. Now we'll move on to discuss the gross anatomy of the olfactory pathway. Before we look at each element individually, let me first show you this illustration here, which is a basal view of the brain. The olfactory pathway is highlighted in green, and we can see that this pathway is bilateral, that is, that there's one on the right and left side of the brain. Once the fibres of the olfactory nerve travel through the cribriform plate and into the cranial cavity, they enter the olfactory bulb. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and Atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and Master Anatomy.